Dear sisters and brothers, greetings from Bethlehem. For us Palestinian Christian, this Easter feels specially fruit. We have long warned that our ancient community, literally dating to Jesus' time, is on the brink of extinction. But this Easter, we bear witness to horrors never even imagined. Our ancient Christian community in Gaza, and with it thousands of years of Palestinian culture and heritage, disintegrates before our own eyes. Today we celebrated Palm Sunday, remembering Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. While we, the indigenous Palestinian Christians, are banned from entering the city. In Jerusalem, violent Israeli extreme settlers have been trying to force Christians out of home. Even before October 7th, the attacks on Christian institutions, clergy, and processions have quadrupled. During this Holy Week, we focus our eyes on the cross. If there is one symbol that best tells the Palestinian story, it is the cross. This is why so many Palestinian artists, Christians as well as Muslims, have depicted Jesus on the cross. Our Palestinian people have been carrying a heavy cross of occupation for decades. Often we felt abandoned and we were crying, where are you, God? Why did you forsake us? Our people in Gaza are not asking anymore, where are you, God? But where is humanity? Humanity have failed them as they were led like a lamb to the slaughter. Human rights seems not to apply to them. Western countries cannot, after six months, even agree on a ceasefire. Arab and Muslim countries seem to have become numb. And as we walk our Via de la Rosa, many Western churches watch like Peter from far, afraid of identifying themselves with our suffering people. We in the West Bank are locked in our cities behind high concrete walls that has transformed our cities into pantostans with the streets leading out of our towns blocked with huge road stones. We feel locked in by heavy stone, heavy occupation, and we keep asking who will roll away the stone. We have been living for over seven decades, our long Saturday. We keep asking if, if and when Sunday will come, if and when our oppression will end, when we will obtain our liberation, our freedom to live in dignity and to reach our full potential. We are not waiting for angels to roll away the stone, but rather for people who hear the call for justice, for liberation, and for peace. Imagine the impact we could make if from every corner of the world, our collective call for action, for a ceasefire, for liberation of all captives become impossible to ignore. May we receive during this Easter time the power to leave behind our fears and complicity and become agents of transformation. Let this Easter mark not just a day of celebration, but a day of mobilization, a day we choose to be catalyst for hope in action and for a long-lasting and a just peace.